Now, one of uh, the Syrian president's allies, Iran, has warned against the West, and particularly the U.S., from taking any kind of military option against Syria. Meridad Kansari is a former Iranian diplomat and an Iranian analyst at the Center for Arab and Iranian Studies and joins us now from London. Uh, good to have you with us. Um, the Deputy Chief of Staff of the Iranian Army says there will be harsh consequences uh, for the U.S. if it intervenes in Syria. What consequences? Well, actually, it's very difficult to specify what he is insinuating because what assets Iran has are mainly in terms of having supported the Syrian government is in terms of, uh, has been in terms of uh, re-equipping them, providing training and, you know, occasionally calling on their allies, Hezbollah, to intervene on their behalf. But what they are insinuating in terms of action to be taken if there is some sort of an aerial attack on uh, Syria is unclear. I think it's just trying to vent their feelings and to make it clear that they are not supportive of any such action. Indeed, and of course the likelihood is it wouldn't just be the US launching an action on its own, it would be alongside other allies, including Turkey, which says it would join any coalition against Syria. So clearly Tehran can't take on all those parties. Well, no, I, I think that, as I said, they are just trying to, uh, to, to make their position uh, in support of the Assad regime quite clear, something which the new administration in Iran has already done. And uh, this comes for them. This is a very difficult time for them because any adverse you know, effect on the status of the Assad regime has tremendous impact for the Iranian uh, government, both inside Iran and also it is their hope to use the Syrian card as some sort of a diplomatic card when they start negotiating with the West over their own, you know, uh, impending uh, outstanding situation. So they don't want to see the present situation upset for, for various reasons. But they, they surely also don't want this violence and this instability right on their doorstep. Uh, do you think the situation would ever deteriorate to the point where Iran rethinks its strategic support of Assad? I, I don't see that happening. They have invested too much in the Assad regime for them to want to consider seeing a post-Assad Syria because, the, as I said, the uh, impact of that on Iranian domestic policy would be tremendous. It would have uh, terrible, you know, consequences for them in terms of their own standing with the Iranian people with whom they are in a great deal of trouble. And at the same time, as I said, as they are about to enter new talks with the West regarding the nuclear file and other outstanding issues, they want to use their role as a player in the Syrian equation as some sort of a diplomatic card to be able to have some sort of a bargaining chip for those negotiations. I have to also point out that the comments made by the deputy chief of staff in Iran comes against the grain of diplomatic overtures which the new administration of Mr. Rouhani is trying to make. At the time, they're trying to sort of sound soft and sort of willing to engage. This kind of comment, you know, serves against that grain of uh, thought and, of course, is a reminder that there are a lot of hardline Iranians within the political system who have a different way of looking at things than the uh, newly elected president who has just taken over. Interesting stuff. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Good to have you on the program. Medad Kansari uh, speaking to us from London there. Thank you.